Hi, Team Terry here. Hi, I'm Dave. I'm Kimberly. And we're here today to invite you along for our ride we're taking to Elmira, New York to do a little bit of background historical videoing of Mark Twain, the famous author, and then writer. We'll, and then we'll take you for a ride up to Harris Hill. The soaring capital of the world. All right, come with us. Please do. Let's walk over here and see what's over here. So there it is. There's a bunch of kids there right now, so. You can't go in it. But it, it overlooks this pond down there. That where that spot was by the road where I turned around, mm -hmm. that's where the study used to sit. How are you? No headstone. No headstone on campus. Oh uh, no? No, it's just the watering trough. Oh, is that all it is? Yep, because the summer home and then the study used to sit on such a steep hill that the horses had a hard time getting up the step, up the hill that the family had watering troughs commission to be built. So when we the college was gifted the study, we were also gifted his daughter's watering trough. Florida now. Oh, yep, local girl, so I know really well. Oh, yeah. So the very first photo we have is of Dr. Ada Langdon. She's Mark Twain's niece. She was also a professor at Elmira College. She taught English. And in that photo, she's handing the keys to the study to our Board of Trustees member while the president of the college at the time looks on. The next photo we have is of his family from left to right. It's Jean, Susie, his wife Olivia, his daughter Clara. And then on the windowsill, we do have a photo of his first and only son, Little Langdon. So the Clemens line is officially gone, but the Langdon, which is his wife's side of the family, still lives on today. The next two photos we have are actually of Quarry Farm. That's where the study originally set. It's about two miles from campus. Yeah, we just was up there. Okay. So it's you know a uh, class or school or something Yes, up there. we had a small school group today. They won a literary contest. One of the students wrote about Mark Twain and her prize was to be able to come down, get a tour of the study, and then the exhibit, and then to be able to go up to Quarry Farm and have wow. lunch. It was actually donated to the college by the Langdon family, but under the clause that it stays preserved and that it stays closed off to the public. And we actually very rarely give tours of it. No fireplace, it has all the original features still. The grate and all the embellishments are still the same that he would have had. Really? Yeah. And then we do have one of the photos from one of his last visits in 1903. He's actually looking out from the study. Jeez. His sister-in-law, Susan Langdon Crane, she's actually the woman who had the study built for him. And she did this for two reasons. One is her and her husband had no children of their own, so she really wanted his to be able to come visit every summer. And the other is because he was a big smoker, drinker, and occasional swearer when he was writing. So she didn't want that going on in the parlor, so <laughs> she kind of put him out here and this way he could smoke his 40 to 60 cigars a day. Uh, That's the fence you guys actually just came through. Oh really? Over here? Mansion. Yep. Where's the mansion at? Unfortunately in 1939 it was torn down. The city had the actual permit 
Is this the original windows and stuff? It is. You actually, in that photo, can't see the window panes. That's because they are pocket windows, so they do go all the way up into the wall. Oh, okay. But being over 100 years old, they no longer go up into the wall all the way. So then we have the very last photo of the study ever taken in 1953 up at Quarry Farm. Now that photo you can see has been kind of overgrown with trees and shrubbery. Here. Yes. Trees and shrubbery, and it was also starting to become vandalized by local children. Their initials being carved into the wall and into the, into the. My name's Kate, and I'm an Elmira College student and one of the ambassadors here. Our college to hockey. Yes. We are ranked number two in Division Three for women's hockey and ranked number fifth. We are a non denomination school, but we do have a chapel also for mass and other religious ceremonies as well. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's not original to the building, it was built in 2012. And oh. all the yeah, and all the stained glass is made all the upstairs stained glass talk about the history of Elmira and Elmira College itself. And then the bottom stained glass windows talk about different traditions that we have on campus. Where's the one of Mark Twain? Like I said, the top is kind of about Elmira's history. So one of the things I show off is one of the first photos of Elmira College. And then that's what it looked like back then. It still looks almost... A, so it's still that tin ceiling. On his, up at Quarry Farm. But then on the other side is the Langdon Mansion side, which has furniture from the mansion and photos of the inside of the mansion. Because we don't actually have the mansion anymore. All we have now is photos. And then on the TV, we actually do have a slideshow of the inside of Quarry Farms, so we can't let the public in. We took pictures so they could see the In the barn? Yep. A cigar, a hat? That is actually one of the lovely little donkey carts, is what I call it. It's what the children would ride in and we pull horses in the carriage. Is that his cane? Yes, that is his walking stick that he would use when he would walk from Quarry Farm to the Langdon Mansion. That was one That's of his favorite trips. Life and then that's the dinner bell that would be wrong to say. Ooh, what's this? <sighs> this is some of his original work from the archives. Look at that. That's totally cool. This is unbelievable. Now, are these his books? Those are his actual first edition books. Wow. Some of them wow. were purchased and then others were purchased. You... The fireplace is from the Langdon Mansion and only this part is the original this we recreated. So this is his laptop. He took it all over with him to Europe and... All over the United States. All over the United States. And this is his scrapbook. Yep. How long was he in, uh, in Elmira? He came every summer from 1874 to 1903. Wow. From May to September. And he spent a lot of time in Missouri, right? He where was born he? in Missouri and grew up and that's where he spent a lot of his time, like on the riverboats along the Mississippi. Mm -hmm. This is Olivia. What did you see over here? All the fencing here that are in the, it's in the film is now off of the Langdon house. What is this called, huh? Emerson, Emerson Hall? Hall. He's the founder? Founder of Elmira College in 1855. And he was a smart man.
He looks happy. Yes, he did. So we're heading to the graveyard now. Come along. Did he put his real name on it? Heading up to Harris Hill. swing on that noisy, noisy. Beautiful. The river you see down there, that's called the uh, Shemung River, which turns into the Susquehanna River. Yep, which we crossed into in Pennsylvania. You see all the, the little mountains here. You see some of the shadows of the depth of them where they in the, in the mountains. 
Okay, we're going to end this video right here. Thanks for joining us today on our adventures. All right, we'll see you on the road. Catch you on the road. Don't forget to subscribe. Share. Like. And comment. Thanks. Catch you on the road. Yeah, catch you on the road. Thank you for watching. And give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And share it with your friends and family. Make sure you ring that bell so you get a notification. Catch you on the road. Bye.